These are the Giro Chamber 2 shoes, famously worn by Aaron Gwynn and Richie Rood. I brought the shoes back in January. They've had nearly a year's worth of riding. They're holding up fantastically with hardly no signs of wear. So here's my thoughts and opinions. The look of the shoe is important, and for people who don't mind the bulkiness of these, then they are great. They kind of remind me of some old DC shoes I used to have. You could even get away with wearing them with your favourite pair of jeans without anyone knowing you wear mountain bike shoes. Even after such a long time, every time I slide them on, I instantly feel the generous pattern they provide on the inside of the shoe. Once the laces are tight, the velcro strap further secures them onto your feet. Although I don't ride much in wet weather, the times I've been caught out in the rain, they've kept my feet dry. The sides are microfiber and up front have a rock print for abrasive resistance. Plus a rubber reinforced toe cap and heel for excellent durability. The sole of the shoe offers full Vibram Mega Grip high traction. Vibram are world famous for their rubber soles and are known for their reputation for quality, durability, comfort and traction. They work great for when you need to get off your bike and push up something wet or rocky. They really keep their grip. For riders who prefer the shoe to sit further back on the pedal, these offer a 10mm cleat setback. I have the cleat set back as far as possible which gives me a secure planted feeling on the pedals on rougher terrain. Zero claims on the website that for a size 43 they weigh 510 grams. These are a size 45 and I weighed these at 1200 grams with cleats. So for riders who aren't fussy about saving weight, these shoes are perfect. They can be found from 120 to 140 euros, uh, roughly around 100 to 120 pounds. So quite a reasonable price for a sturdy mountain bike shoe. So whether you ride enduro or downhill, these shoes have a great price tag. They're comfortable on long rides. They're durable up until now, and I couldn't be any more happier. So 10 out of 10 for me.